There. As you might know, or probably don't, next week is National Cookie Cutter Week. And if Campbell's Bakery is known for anything, it's cookies and our wall of cookie cutters. Currently, I think we're at about five or six hundred, but I'm always on the lookout for more. Um, today, I'm going to give you a few tips on making the best cookies that you possibly can. First tip that I can give you use a pastry cloth. This right here is a pastry cloth, heavily loaded up with flour, and just work the flour in as much as you possibly can, and that will keep the dough from sticking, if at all possible. Most pastry cloths will also come with a pastry, a pastry cloth rolling pin cover. Heavily flour that up as well. And now you've got two fairly non-stick surfaces, as much as you can get for pastries. Tip number two, use cold dough. If you get the dough, if you make it like we do, then we always have to put it in the refrigerator and let it chill about eight hours or better yet overnight to get it as cold as we possibly can before we roll it. That's going to keep the dough together much better in the oven. It's going to make a better product, a better tasting cookie, a better texture, just the whole nine. Once you get it flattened out with your hands, start from the center and push out. Start from the center and pull back. Center and push, center and pull, center and push, and just keep that going until you get it to the thickness that you want. And then the last thing that I can tell you is well, always flour the cookie cutter before you use it. It just makes it for clean entry, clean release. The cookie comes out perfect every time. If I can beg you, the one thing that I ask, use plastic cookie cutters because they maintain their shape and they're much easier to clean. They don't rust, they don't get old. Even if it gets a scratch, it still throw it in the dishwasher and it cleans up. This used to be a football. I don't know what shape it is now, but I can promise it's not a football. And if I drop it, or if it bends at all, now it's a peanut. Now I've got a peanut shaped cutter. So don't use metal cutters. They rust, they break. This right here could harm anybody that picks it up that doesn't know that it's, that it's broken right there. So find yourself some great plastic cutters. They're all over the place. Come in and check out our uh, wall of plastic cutters. We do have some of the uh, old metal ones you know, just for old time's sake, if nothing else. But So to recap really quickly, use a pastry cloth that's well floured, use a rolling pin cover, use cold dough, and please, please, please use plastic cutters. Enjoy.